Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Call of Duty video. Hopefully you are all enjoying your day. In today's Call of Duty World War 2 videos, guess what? We have some brand new leaks we're going to be looking at is some new game modes and game modes that we will be getting in World War 2. Uh, we're going to be looking at a bunch more other stuff as well. We're going to be looking at all basic training abilities. We're also going to be looking at supply drops. What is happening with supply drops in this game at this current moment? Uh, we're going to be looking at all the headquarter features which have been leaked. And also we're going to be looking at some more competitive stuff as well, which is an awesome video for more leaks like this. Let me know in the comment section down below. It's not too long until this game comes out. So we will be getting some more leaks throughout the couple of days and I'll be sure to bring that information to you as soon as possible. So starting off in the video, the game modes that we will be getting for Call of Duty World War 2 is going to be starting off with the normal free for all. We'll be getting domination. We'll be getting team deathmatch. We'll be getting the game mode called control. Although it may not be an official game mode, it's just a name inside the game files. We are going to be getting the game mode search and destroy, search and rescue, just like in COD Ghost, demolition, capture the flag, kill confirmed, gun game, infected, hardpoint, gridiron, aces, air, lockdown, blades, and a cage match called 1v1. Apparently that may not be an official game mode. And I'll kind of go through some of these new game modes. Number one, as you can tell from all the game modes listed, there is no ground war. The reason why I don't think there will be ground war in Call of Duty World War II is that the maps are quite small and sometimes within Call of Duty, they only put uh, the game mode ground war in big, huge maps. And there isn't really any big maps in Call of Duty World War II. So if you are a ground war fan, it looks to me that this may not be in the game. To be honest, it probably would be very intense, a lot of people killing each other. But at the end of the day, that'd be pretty fun if they did add it in. They may do it as a special, who knows. So starting off, Infected, apparently it's just in the game files and it could or could not uh, come through. The other game we're going to be looking at is Gridiron. It's pretty much uplink, but instead it's on the ground. Uh, we have the game called Aces. We don't know what that is as well. And another game mode called Air, as I said. It may be like Air Raids and Headquarters. That's what the author of the leak says. So we're really not too sure about that. There is also another one called Lockdown. Once again, not an official game mode. Doesn't know too much about it. And Blades. Apparently, it's just throwing knives and combat knives only. So who knows? It just might be a huge TDM or huge free for all just of knives, combat knives and apparently it may not be an official game mode and we have a 1v1 cage match and cage matches just like modern warfare 3 however once again this is not an official game mode so those are some cool things to take away and uh, let's hope we get as many awesome game modes as possible because it make the game so much better so the next link we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at the basic training so as you can see on the screen uh, this is just one lot of all the basic trainings you can pause it you can have a look at it and if you have a look at the screen now this is the second bunch of basic trainings uh, which we're going to be looking at. I'll kind of show you what I think is the interesting basic trainings to look at. To start off with we have one called requisitions. I find this one interesting because score streaks do not reset on death but cost more and can only be earned once. So you know if you die getting a high kill streak guess what they don't reset it's just going to cost a little bit more when you respawn. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, the next one we have is something called lookout. Enemy targets appear from further away and increased mini map coverage. I think that's pretty interesting. And the next one we're going to be looking at is cartographer. Now this is a weird basic training. Uh, you get a radar ping at the start of each life that reveals nearby enemies and you can sprint for longer distances. So if you're going for more of assassin kind of creator class, I guess that one uh, is a little bit cool. The rest of the basic training is quite normal and kind of what you'd expect in the basic training. Uh, but the last one that I think is something interesting is called Saboteur. Now with Saboteur, you can capture objectives faster, you can build walls and machine guns faster in war and assists give more score XP. So if you're more of an objective player, Saboteur would definitely be a basic training that you need to utilize. And to be honest, having these in the games, uh, these basic trainings really do change it up. And uh, obviously you can make a special class tailored for your liking. And to be honest, I really like what they did. They finally added in something different and something new that we really need in this game. So props to Sledgehammer Games for that. And I think it will work really well. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at is supply drops. So when the game comes out, will there be supply drops with millions of random futuristic weapons, kind of like what we saw in Modern Warfare Remastered? Well, at this early stage, the author has found uh, with the loot and with the supply drops to just be cosmetic only. 
This is what Sledgehammer Games said. They said it would be cosmetic only, but that's kind of what they said in Modern Warfare. And a few months down the track, we started getting random weapons in that game, which made no sense. So here's the thing. Will we end up getting supply drops with random weapons and stuff like that in the game? Um, at the moment, no, we will not be getting that. But I do believe as the months go on, Activision will pretty much pressure Sledgehammer Games to probably do that and we will end up seeing random weapons in the game. So I do say yes, it will be a definite, but only time will tell and it may take a while. Uh, as you can see from the screen before, basically all they are, they're just uniform bribes, they're just random camos. And that's basically about it. There isn't anything too interesting. As long as there's no uh, weapon that does extra damage or affects the game in such a way that makes it broken uh, in gunfights and stuff, then it's fine. Apart from that, a lot of people don't like supply drops, but at the moment, they don't seem to be too bad in terms of weaponry. So heading over to the headquarters features, there's a lot of stuff we can do in the headquarters. Um, as you know, with the headquarters, you know, you can like walk around, talk to people, look at leaderboards, do all this kind of stuff if you've seen the gameplay uh, from some other YouTubers. But I have the whole list of what you can do in the headquarters in the game. And starting off, as you can see on the screen, what you can do is you can go to the emblem editor, you can look at the leaderboards, What's interesting is that there's actually a lot of leaderboards you can look at. You can actually look at the top clans, Call of Duty World League standings. You can look at top TDM players, Zombies leaderboard, War leaderboards. There's just a ton of them, which is interesting. Um, you can also go invite people to your parties, create parties there. Uh, there's board messages from Sledgehammer Games. You can go to the theater. And I think you can watch COD Esports there as well, which is somewhat interesting. You can also switch over to uh, the Zombies mode uh, in this game through headquarters, which is interesting. And apparently there's a 1v1 arena. So I'm not sure if there's a 1v1 arena with your friend or not, uh, but there's a lot of query strings here saying, do you want to enter the 1v1 arena? hold reload to queue up. So it seems to me that they have already made strings and coding for the 1v1. So maybe you can challenge your friend to a 1v1 or do something fun in the headquarters. I'm not too sure. Uh, but moving over, what you can also do is you can do skeet shooting. So that's basically just shooting at targets, shooting at a flying plate, which is cool, which gets launched in the air. You can shoot at targets. There's score streak training. Uh, there's boxing. So you can invite a player to box, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you can open up your supply drops there. You can challenge someone to a duel. And apparently you can send random messages, salutes and celebrations and emotions uh, to your friends who are in your headquarters or something like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how headquarters work. Uh, we didn't really get too much gameplay of headquarters uh, when it was fully released. All we really got to see was, you know, just like standing around the firing range shooting at stuff. So when this game fully comes out and as more gameplay does become leaked, I will show you guys. And to be honest, this headquarters thing is actually looking pretty awesome uh, from Sledgehammer Games to implement this. And the last thing we're gonna be looking at is Call of Duty Competitive. So in Call of Duty Competitive, uh, in Call of Duty World War II, they have actually changed it according to the author of the leak. It will be very similar to Overwatch's uh, competitive. So if you've ever played Overwatch competitive, uh, basically it's really balanced how it works out. I'm pretty sure I've never played it, but from what I've heard from my friends, it's really good. A lot of people are matched up evenly and it seems like it would be like that in World War II. Uh, what's interesting is the map and game modes that are set uh, for competitive. So as you can see on the screen, these are the maps and game modes that are set. Apparently it is expected to change. They always change different things for competitive uh, in Call of Duty World War II, but these are gonna be the maps and game modes. So we have Ardenus Forest Search and Destroy, Ardenus Forest Capture the Flag, Ardenus Forest Hardpoint. We have Gib Rail Tour Search and Destroy and the same map in Hardpoint. Uh, Saint Mary de Mont Search and Destroy, the same map once again, but Capture the Flag and the same map once again, but hard point and flak tower capture the flag. To be honest, I don't mind those maps at all. I think they'll be good uh, competitive maps, but obviously as the game progresses, they will be changing a whole bunch of things in the game. They'll be getting rid of certain streaks, certain weapons. All of these maps are once again, subject to change. But apart from that, those are the leaks regarding headquarters, game modes, competitive, uh, the supply drops as well. We're gonna be getting some more leaks through Call of Duty World War II as the days go on by. So if you want more videos like this, be sure to drop it a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'll be sure to do more of these. And to be honest, I'm really liking the way Sledgehammer Games has created this game uh, in terms of headquarters, in terms of the new game modes. And hopefully let's pray that supply drops are gonna be finally normal but I do know that will be a bit far-fetched to believe. But nonetheless, hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I will catch you all later. Globe out.